everyone i just finished week 15 and this was about the back end project week where we were working on our back end uh, project and then deploying it to heroku at the end and then we also had to not necessarily deploy our front end but i was able to do it and we had to be able to make the front end talk to the back end essentially you could do it locally but uh, one of the stretch challenge was to make them both deployed online and also communicate online to each other. So my back end was on Heroku and my front end was on Netlify. So if you remember uh, five weeks prior, I did a front end project week using React. And it's the same note taking app that we would used before and we're just now syncing it up to the backend server that we made. So what I did here was I spruced up the front end a little bit so it doesn't look as simple uh, as the design file that they gave us. I gave it my own um, kind of mm, clean looking theme and I used React icons with web font loader to use some Google fonts and just kind of cleaned up a lot of the UI. and one of the most difficult things about this project was getting the deployment code right um, basically we were taught deployment on a wednesday so uh, we had to actually learn to uh, implement that code and then present it on thursday which is the next day so usually it's a it's a pain point for a lot of people because it doesn't work as you suspect it because there's a lot of um, in inner workings there's a lot of moving pieces that you have to connect just right in order for it to work so I was able to get it to work uh, based on the instructors um, guide and it was it was difficult uh, it took me some quite amount of time to get it uploaded it took me 22 deploys overall on Heroku to get it exactly like I want it and then on the front end, deploying React to Netlify was pretty simple. I want to say it only took me about an hour or less, um, just just because I was trying to figure it out um, how to connect it to the back end. The the thing that I learned was that you can just pretty much use the address that you get from Heroku, so like your app name dot Heroku dot com or something like that, and you can just insert that in your front end as a way to run Axios calls to to use uh, axios.get, axios.put, .delete, etc. So got that all up and working, connected to each other and it works out just fine. Um, I didn't have enough time to use some of the other features such as uh, putting in tests um, with Jess and Enzyme that we've learned and authentication is a big one and just a lot of uh, smaller features that I wanted to get in but luckily all those were stretch challenges so I didn't really have to get through them um, I already finished the MVP on day one I think so it wasn't difficult at all and then just most of it was working on deploying it to the back end and getting the code correct and then another thing that I tried this project is um, using branching so what I had was a master branch, a dev branch, and then whatever feature or whatever deployment I have, I would make another branch for that. Now, if you guys don't know, you can make, before you deploy something, you can make a deploy branch and just you know run tests on it, connect with the backend server, see if it's working. If all the code is good and everything, um, you push those commits, and then what you do is you pull it back you can either pull it into the dev branch or the master branch it's whatever you'd like to do and once it's pulled in what happens is you can delete that branch actually that deploy branch so in the end it looks really clean and pretty much that whole all those commits that you would make on that feature branch or deploy branch gets added to the tree so that you can actually access it if you want to and it cleans up your branches pretty well that was the first time I did it. I've heard about it, but I haven't tried it until then. And I gotta say, I'm gonna be using that from now on. And since I was working with by myself, I didn't make a lot of feature branches because 
it's just not necessary. I mainly use the death branch most of the time. And then, um, yeah, I think that's, that covers just about everything. We use Trello for our front end to plan the project. I am planning to move eventually to GitHub project boards. It's a more simplistic to use. It's already built into GitHub, so you can use it like a Kanban board, like a Trello board. And uh, I'll show you guys a quick example here of another project that I'm working on. And I'm using the um, project board on GitHub to actually do this. And another option is using Zenhub. Uh, it's something I heard about from my developer friend. And he uses it at the company that he's currently at. So I think that's more advanced, more like you need you have other people on your team. But for a solo project, project boards all the way. I think it's a solid choice. And one last thing I'd like to mention is a lot of my classmates are moving on to uh, Lambda Labs. If you don't know what that is, basically they're going to be working on a project with a small team in our cohort and actually the iOS people or someone else is joining in to labs as well with and I think it's CS11 and uh, we we are CS13 so they're gonna be mixing in this Lambda Labs besides the point they're gonna be working on labs making this big project in a small group of uh, maybe four or five people and then they're gonna do their capstone project um, defense at the end kind of like a thesis kind of like you show off your project after five weeks and this is an experiment that Austin uh, already is trying so he's just trying with our cohort and we got notice about this about a week ago too so it's uh, their idea is that they want you to be job ready as soon as you get out of Lambda school and this kind of helps ramp you up a lot quicker gets you gets that project out for you and then you can include that on your portfolio and then start applying while you're doing computer science. Now, the traditional path that I'm doing is the computer science. So after this, I'm going into computer science on Monday, and whereas most of my classmates are going into labs. And computer science is also going to be about five weeks, I believe, and then I'll head into labs afterwards. So there's just this deviation um, that's going on recently in my, my cohort. And my reasoning is that I wanted to use my off hours uh, during the next five weeks to kind of research different technologies to use because I personally don't feel like I'm ready to make a whole application with a lot of uh, other developers right away um, unless they have some kind of thing that they're teaching you how to do that. I'm not sure yet. I have to ask my friends. And so that's kind of the gist of it. And um, I'm also moving to Houston, Texas in uh, a week or two here. So I'm pretty excited about that, getting ready for that. And uh, just continuing Lambda school here. So as always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'm very accessible even if you're already in the school. Just shoot me a DM, say hi, you know, say that you saw this video or something, it'd be cool. Um, and I have a lot of uh, experience from the past that I've taken from as well. So I'd love to share it with you if you want. Um, and uh, I took a year off basically learning all that stuff, uh, web development in general. And uh, now hopefully I can call myself a full stack dev. I don't know. I don't feel quite up to par yet, but uh, we're, we're getting there, right? Um, and as far as the CS curriculum for next week, I've looked a little bit about it at it. At it. Um, installed Python and installed um, pip env something like that to create a virtual environment CS is going to be interesting. I think it's going to be challenging. I've always weren't, Wasn't that great at algorithms and whatnot. I'm more of a very visual person These uh, higher level concepts are going to be a little bit difficult for me, but we met the instructors um, after our presentations or before after I think and then um, they're really cool and they just said it's going to be challenging make sure you get some rest and prepare yourself so that's what I'm doing I'm just taking it easy here um, editing this video and just uh, having a chill weekend before I start CS on Monday so that's going to do it here for me hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you uh, some useful information um, if you have any problems deploying your full stack application um, I'd like to see 
I won't, I've always feel like we can learn from each other. So that's it. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys next week.